Hi there, in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of upgrading uh, Gaia um, running version R80.40 to Gaia R81.10 So R81.10 currently is the recommended version uh, and you can take a look at Checkpoint website at release notes to get more details about uh, the new features and what's the benefit of using uh, this latest release uh, I just want to highlight uh, some points on this website uh, before we start the upgrade process um, the, one th the first thing is that you should uh, confirm uh, your upgrade path and you can check it on this site by using the upgrade download wizard uh, for instance uh, in this scenario we're going to use the upgrade option and I'll be using let's say management server and my case is going to be an open server from Gaia R8040 to Gaia R81 and you can see that right now the the only uh, release it's is going to be the rec. So I don't need no intermediate release from R84 to R81.10. And this is the first thing that you should you should check. Uh, here we can download the ISO file. And actually that's not ISO, that's R. This is for install and upgrade and the other thing is that you should as well uh, check the administration guide to get more info about the up upgrade process and also uh, about the non limitations on this release so and you can as well already uh, let me see what is it download smart console i have already downloaded smart console Although you can download uh, Smart Console from uh, Checkpoint uh, Gaia Portal, and but I'm just going to down. I've already downloaded from this page. Now on my measurement server, uh, let's start uh, by checking the current version and. You can see right now I'm running ver um, Gaia R80.40 and so we want to get to upgrades, checkpoint, user center and what I'm going to do is to first um, check for updates and what it's going to do is going to upgrade the deployment agent to the most updated version I'm going to do the same for uh, the gateway. Now the upgrade process, it's a very lengthy one. So I'm going to edit uh, a lot uh, because this might take uh, more than one hour, depending on your database size, depending on your internet connection. So, you should uh, make sure that your gateway and your management server are able uh, to reach the internet and you can see right now my policy is a very simple one very basic I'm only allowing uh, my internal network to access the internet um, so there isn't much there and we're going to focus most of the time on the Gaia portal itself as you can see right now it's updating the deployment agent and looks like already downloaded uh, um, the images but it found them and now I have to download same for a gateway the deployment agent uh, upgrade is completed and now let's download um, a Gaia version R81 pressure sewing upgrade and I want to download and I'm going to do the same for uh, for the gateway 
Oh, this process is going to take a while. So first it's going to download and only then I'm going to upgrade. Now that the package was downloaded successfully, uh, let's verify the update. And D4 gateway, gateway is already done. Okay. Oh. Now what I'm going to do is to upgrade first um the management server and actually that's the recommended option so first we have to upgrade the management server and only then upgrade the other products like the gateway or the smart event and the verification process is completed and we got this error and it says that Installation is allowed, uh, but the problem is that the disk partition it's less than the required, and the minimum should be 20 gigs available. Okay, so we have to fix this before proceeding with the upgrade. So what I'm going to do is to. Let's use, uh, let's increase the disk size and it has to be the root partition and admin 6574 password and you have to go into expert mode and I believe that's LVM, LVM manager and i want to resize and the current one and you can see the current run size is 19 and we need at least 20 so now i have to enter the new size and i'm going to set to 22 and it's going to resize the disk partition and reboot and yes open checkpoint products and it's going to take a while. Now the management server has rebooted and let's try to upgrade again. And now we can see here the upgrade option. And it says that after the upgrade it will be an automatic reboot. That's okay. And let's just proceed with the process. And it's going to initiate the upgrade process. First, it's going to form a backup of the database, and then it's going to upgrade a uh, Gaia operating system. And we can actually uh, see this process happening. Uh, there is a new feature uh, that's a report that will be presented to us during this process. The measurement server is going to reboot, and we can see that right now the upgrade is still running. So. Can take a look at the status right now. The uh, how long it might take. Yeah, you upgrading. So previously it was uh, exporting the database, and now it's upgrading. Uh, the product. As the management uh, already started to import the database, uh, let's start uh, the upgrade process on the gateway. Well, obviously, if this was in a production environment, uh, I would only upgrade the gateway after finishing uh, the process on the management server, but this is a lab environment, so. Start the upgrade process. Well, it will be the same process as we did for the management server. Oh, it's going to initiate the upgrade and then it's going to reboot. The gateway is already upgraded to R81.10. Um, everything is done. So right now. Uh, we have to wait until the management server 
uh, completes the import process. So the database was importing successfully, as you can see, uh, if we want, we can download this report. Um, having a problem, nothing to check on cloud. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, so now the management server is uh, upgraded, the database is imported. Uh, the same for my uh, security gateway. So now let's just install Smart Console. And I've already downloaded and I'm going to install now. You can download as well using a uh, web portal or from the Gaia um, installation page. Uh, just to save time. And the installation process is quite simple so just agree with the license and install okay now let's log into management server uh, using smart console r81 now let's accept the fingerprint and that's it guys uh, we can see that the rules we had previously to the upgrade they are here and we should see that the, the gateway and the management server they are both running version R81 and there is some upgrades I believe yes there are two updates available so uh, that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next one